Hello there and welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. Please make sure you like and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any future content that's going to be uploaded. So this video is the very beginning of A-level chemistry. Uh, it looks at the history of the atom. Now it's not necessarily in many of the specs but you do need to have an appreciation so it's not necessarily a topic you're going to find exam questions on but it definitely helps your introduction to a level if you have a solid understanding of how the atom has changed over time or how our understanding has changed obviously atoms haven't changed but our understanding has so going back to ancient greek times 400 bc now you do not need to know the dates the dates aren't important What's important is how our understanding has improved. So early Greeks, that's where the term atom comes from, atomos, which is basically means indivisible. So in ancient Greek times, the idea of particles, that if you continue to cut something in half, you would get to a point where you could no longer cut it in half. And this was seen as one atom of a substance. Quite some time later, was the discovery of electrons and this was often referred to as Thomson's plum pudding model so the idea that atoms actually contained other things they contained a negative charge so this was the discovery of electrons now we also understood that atoms are neutral so therefore if it contains negative electrons it must also contain some positive charge as well to balance out those negatives and that's where the term plum pudding comes from so we've got negative electrons moving around and the rest of the atom is just made up of a cloud of positive charge so there was no mention of protons or neutrons at this stage not too long after though thanks to the rutherford scattering experiment which we're going to look at in the next slide the discovery of the nucleus and the idea that the nucleus is the positive charge so instead of the positive charge being throughout a cloud of the atom the positive charge is a very small concentrated nucleus okay and the rest of the atom is in fact empty space again not long after now and this is kind of where you got to at GCSE that electrons actually are found in specific spherical orbits in a, in a fixed distance so whereas Rutherford didn't have them in a fixed um, distance or in orbits Bohr's model does have them in fixed distances from the nucleus and what you'll see in A level is actually the introduction of the term orbital and what what orbitals are. OK, so we now the present day model that electrons will occupy regions of space called orbitals where the, the mathematical probability of finding the electron at any given time. Let's look at Rutherford's gold foil experiment then. It is on most GCSE specifications in chemistry and physics. But what happened? A very thin piece of gold foil, as you can see there, that, that piece of gold foil right in the center here. And alpha particles were fired at this gold foil. Now, alpha particles are very small. It's literally two protons and two neutrons. And they were fired at this gold foil. Now, most of those alpha particles went straight through without moving at all this went straight through so that's where the conclusion is well the atom is mostly empty space because these particles went straight through and weren't affected at all so that conclusion the atom is mostly empty space however some particles were slightly deviated which suggests that there's some positive charge in there somewhere because they were being deflected so these alpha particles are positive themselves because it's two protons and two neutrons. So what was happening is they were being deflected somehow. So we knew it contained a positive nucleus. And in fact, very few of these particles actually got sent directly back. And that's because the nucleus is actually very small. So some of these, if they hit the nucleus straight on, they would come straight back because the nucleus is positive and these alpha particles are positive so it would get close and it would repel straight back if you came close to the nucleus it would be repelled and that's where you see these deviations so the conclusion from rutherford's gold foil we know it contains a nucleus that's positive the nucleus is very small and the rest of the atom is 
empty space and that's why these particles were able to move straight through and that's it for this video then so please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you like the videos to ensure that you don't miss out on any future content thank you